is Kiri from Exotic Explorers and we are going to speak a little bit about the red eye tree frogs. I, I will start saying that uh, the name of this, like, it's something that I found very curious is the name of the species in Latin is, I have it in here, I now have it as cheating, but it's Agalignis calidryas. And calidryas, it comes from a word which is kalos, which means beautiful, and dryas, which means nymph. And it's like saying it's a beautiful nymph. And they really, really are. Frogs have been around the world for many, many years. Some of them has been millions of years, and these ones exactly has been around for around 10 million years. Something that I love about this animal is the color. So I'm gonna take one out so you can see. You can see the top of the frog is absolutely green, but if you look at the eyes, which you will see in the photos close up, they are really, really red. Also, they have, she wants to show a little bit, I don't know it's very visible again I will try and see if I can take off just the body but it has yellow and blue all around the sides of her body and her paws are really really bright orange so now she's getting relaxed closing her eyes and going to sleep in my hand that's really cute <laughs> so I was saying about them they are boreal they live in the leaves of the trees and you can see why <laughs> they could camouflage really nicely the color of the body is green as the leaves as well and they are insectivores, which means they eat all type of insects, like normally insects that live next to ponds or water that is where they normally live. It can be crickets, flies, moths, really any insect that is a size safe enough for them to eat. Um, she's really calm and chill out, it's really cute. <laughs> you can find this species in the uh, southern Mexico, Central America, and also the northern of South America and they are really really well known above all in Costa Rica if you look into anything related with Costa Rica the main example of, of animal in the area is the red eye tree frog and you can find them advertisement everywhere I've been in Costa Rica I have seen one <laughs> so that they, that they advertise about them a lot doesn't mean that you find them very very easy they are so well camouflaged that it's really difficult to see them we have the luck to see one it was just on a really really green leaf and if it wasn't for the guide i wouldn't have been able to spot it either so it's, it's quite fascinating to see them how they hide so i will explain a little bit about how they hide in a, in a few seconds uh, but yeah like i was saying uh, i explained about how the body looks and something that people tend to ask about frogs is if they are poisonous well some are some are not okay in this case, these guys are not poisonous. Um, if you have like the dark frogs, they are very colorful, very tiny, they can be very dangerous. But this type of frog, they don't have a poison at all. What they have is toxins in their skin. So if a predator come to them and try to eat them, she will feel like a very, very bad taste. And yeah, maybe that time it will eat the unlucky one, but it will have the bad memory and it will protect the species for other predators. It just it's if you try to eat something that it looks nice but then it tastes very bad you won't try it again just because of the bad memory unless you are very hungry then <laughs> you are not gonna get safe at all so the camouflage of these animals work amazing what they normally do is they stay on a leaf and they stay completely still and what they do is they put all the paws all the feet next to the body so they hide all those blue and yellow lines they hide, the <laughs> they hide the little hands underneath the bellies so you don't see the orange and then they close those bright red eyes so you don't see the red and in that moment it becomes a completely completely green animal if you see that green animal on a leaf like I said it happens to me in Costa Rica you practically won't be able to see the animal it's really really amazing camouflage but you will think all right, so she's very camouflaged on a leaf, she doesn't have any poison, so how she defend herself? Well, that's really, really cool. They are completely still on a leaf, they are completely green, a predator come and try to eat her, what she will do is stand up, open her eyes, and it will flash all her colors, all the blue, the yellow, the orange, the red of the eyes, that will startle the predator, and give her time to jump quite far away and try to recover the camouflage position in another leaf in that way 
the predator can find it again. Even if maybe it's an leaf just next to next to him or next to her, he won't be able to find her because he's already in completely green camouflage. So that's really fascinating about them that they can do that. Obviously, like any other animal, that doesn't mean they are always safe in that way. But it's an amazing adaptation to survive in the wild. So something that we wanted to speak about as well is how they mate because it's quite different to other species and other animals. So in the case of the frogs, males are a bit smaller than females. The reason for that is because the female carry the male on her back while they are producing the eggs. And when they are producing the eggs, they will go underneath a leaf and they will, the female will lie the eggs underneath the leaf in a very sticky substance like jelly so it doesn't fall off. These leaves are normally about ponds or any type of like a small, like big paddle, a small lake. So when the eggs hatch, they fall into the water straight away and it's no risk for them. So what they do that is different to us as well is when the female has laid the eggs, the, the male will go off the back of the female I will fertilize the eggs separated. So it's not like us, which we get fertilized inside. They will do it all externally, which is quite different to be sincere it was quite a surprise when I learned about it because I something that you kind of don't expect to happen uh, also the females are a bit picky when they are choosing boys so they can be a quite a long time till they make a decision of what male they are gonna carry on their backs which I can't blame them if I have to carry a man on the back I will make sure it's a good man <laughs> so in this case the frogs do that they see which males have the nicest colors which males have the nicest vibrations when they shake the leaves. They will also see which ones are kind of like um, bigger, but big enough for them to be able to carry them. So they really check everything. And then when they are sure that it is safe and that it's a good male, they will let him carry, uh, they will let them go on their backs and then obviously do all the process to lie the eggs. Something that is very different is like, you know, a bird lie eggs and when the eggs need to hatch they hatch they can't hatch earlier the chick needs to be ready to come out with this type of frogs if it's any change in the environment that is gonna put the eggs in danger they will hatch earlier and the tadpoles will fall on the water uh, they won't be completely ready to to like to survive they will survive not all of them but at least give them a chance instead of being non-surviving at least it will be at least some of them surviving you have to think as well that they lay they, they lie around 40 eggs which is called a clutch and that's quite a big number it normally happens in that way so they have the choice of like the opportunity to survive because if they only lie three or four eggs the chances is none of them is going to survive and the species could be at risk the more like the more eggs you lie the biggest the chance to survive you have obviously when they hatch the little tadpoles fall in the water and they become food for another animals so it's like a it's a circle like everything else um, but yeah uh, the little ones will fall in the water uh, they take around a week for the eggs to hatch and then it will take around a few weeks till the tadpoles metamorphose metamorphosize metamorphosize sorry my spanish come up metamorphosize into what we know as a green um a red eye free frog Anything that you want to know more, just drop us a question. So obviously, we are more than happy to answer. And I hope you enjoy it and see you again in our next video. Bye.